Hello Virgos, welcome to your April, I, why do I always hesitate? Welcome to your April 2020 love reading. Oh, it's not that hard, Veronica. Okay, um, if this is a general reading, if it resonates, consider a personal reading. My email is below, just send me an email and we can make that happen. Otherwise, let's see what's going on. Holy Spirit, Angels, of I, God's Universe, can you please provide your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Virgos. Love energies for the month of April 2020. What do you see? What do they need to know? Help them reach your higher ground, become closer to the universe, and closer to divine. For their greater good. Any messages you have for them will be greatly appreciated. And we thank you, Virgo. Love energies for... April 2020. Can you please show me the love energies that Virgo has recently passed out of? We have the Seven of Wands in reverse. I am leaving a link below for, give me a link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling. Included in that is also a card for something you do not know about them. Queen of Swords is in reverse for the love energies for April 2020. Check out my Sun Moon prediction readings. My 2020s are up there on my playlist, or my 2019s, if you want to check those out. Page of Swords as you move out of April into May. Check me out on Instant Go. Facebook, Instagram, like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your reading. Um, so we start off with the Seven of Wands in reverse, and what I'm kind of getting from that is somebody doesn't want to fight for it anymore, doesn't want to fight for love anymore, because... Um, the challenges are just too overwhelming. There's too much stuff going on. There's no way the challenges can be surmounted. There's no way the other person is even strong enough to kind of um, try to overcome them. It could be a situation where somebody feels like they're continu continually being judged, being criticized, and this kind of causes them to back down while the other person is the aggressor. Um, so the person that's in that position that feels like the weaker person who is backing down and just kind of feels like why even bother fighting anymore there's no point so it really is kind of an energy of that of you know kind of wanting to give up not having the strength not having the steam or anything to even want to bother with it anymore um now it could be because of this person here this queen of swords in reverse who is a very demanding person who has very unreasonable demands um if she usually doesn't get what she wants she usually um can give you a slew of words that can cut you down to size so I don't know if this is you. If it is, I'd like you to own it. If not, it's the other person's relationship. So somebody is acting very bitter towards someone, vengeful, um, demanding all sorts of things from them, and um, you know, not not very good when it comes to their words or their emotions, um, being very vocal and, and letting their emotions kind of um, drive the train and kind of uh, kind of uh, shoot swords at this person, so to speak, or throw swords at this person. Now. We have the Page of Swords as we go out from April into May, and I'm wondering if, sorry about that, and I'm wondering if this is the same person that's over here. Um, because I see this person very observant, kind of hovering over the other person, trying to figure out what they're doing, trying to get some kind of truth, being overly curious. Um, it could even be kind of, it could be in a little bit of a creepy or a stalkery kind of way, or uh, just really checking in on them. Hovering is what I would kind of get, like hovering. Um, and I don't know what they're trying to find out. They're trying to, uh, maybe they're, they're just trying to keep a tight hold on the other person, um, or observe the other person. Um, for a lot of you, this person, it could be someone who's just usually being, likes to be in control of the situation no, no matter what. So, you know, they could uh, very well try to be in control by belittling the other person and criticizing them. And... If that doesn't seem to work out, then they'll add on top of that, you know, saying some very slicing words and being and demand things and attack somebody for no reason and just be, you know, irrational in general. And then, you know, if that doesn't get them the control they want, then, then they will add on watching this person's every move and what they're kind of doing. So um, let's see what's going on with this. It's a little bit disturbing to me. Um, it does seem like somebody who's very controlling and wants to control the relationship or the other person. Why is the Seven of Wands here in reverse? Who is this person? Where's this energy for Virgos? Love energy is prior to. Love energy is prior to April. Who is this person? What is this energy? Page of Swords is not right. So there's that Page of Swords again. Watching, observing. 
somebody thinks that there's secrets. Someone thinks that someone's hiding something and that there's secrets. So that's what they're why they're watching. They're trying to um, figure things out through that. Have spying eyes, very curious eyes. Um, they're using their intuition to kind of try to figure it out. Um, for some people, it might think they might think there's another person, another female usually when it's the high priestess, and this person is being hidden. So this person is trying to um, kind of figure this out. They might be accusing the other person of actually doing this, um, putting the other person on guard. Um, I see though that this person, um, I mean, whoever this person is, I can't tell if it's you or the other person, um, they you know, are refusing to kind of um, put up with this. <laughs> um, I think they feel like the other person's being a little bit irrational and they're saying to them, no, this is not happening, relax. Um, you know, you really need to, you really need to kind of lighten up on me, relax a little bit because I'm not gonna kind of, you know, take this kind of, you know, accusations or this stuff or, you know, being berated all the time or what have you and you thinking that there's stuff there that's not really there, okay? Um, but this person, I think they're being adamant about it and they just start telling them, relax, you're just, you know, you're, you're letting everything kind of get the best of you, um, whether, whether or not it is or not. Um, why is this Queen of Swords here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages. I'm not going to lie. For some of you, I think this is you. I think it's you ever thinking and thinking that something's going on and trying to get more control over the situation. It could be Virgo. For some of you, if it's not, I get it. If it is, own it and try to make it better. Yeah, this person, no uh, ability to control their emotions whatsoever. Though if they do, if they do use their emotions, they use them to manipulate the situation. Again, um, super vindictive, manipulative, moody, very jealous, very controlling person. Um, and, and they want to be placated. They want to be, they want to be uh, appeased, so to speak. You might work with this person. That might that might be part of the deal here that you are in a work situation. So when you guys are working together, you just kind of try to make it look like everyone's sort of getting along. Um, could be a co-parenting situation. This could be an ex where you just kind of, you know, in public or in front of the kids, you try to make, make it all work out. Everybody kind of get along. Um, trying to find balance here. The two of pentacles going back and forth. Um, but that that's somebody that's a little bit harried, like trying really hard to kind of um, work something out and find balance um, within a situation. So uh, I can see the other person is unnerved by, um, you know, the actions of these two queens in, in reverse. And queens in reverse can be a rivalry of sorts too. So there very well could be another woman. Um, it could be somebody that somebody else is dating or is involved here. And this is causing the other person to, to get very emotional, very out of hand. Um, um, especially if they don't know about this person. So if, if it's somebody at work and there's something going on and they don't know um, what's going on, then maybe that's the reason why they're kind of kicking their heels up with uh, proper reason, right? Why is this page of swords here in the upright? Who's this person? What's this energy? In regards to Virgos. As they move out of April into May, who is this person? What is this energy? But I'm feeling there's this undertone where someone's hiding something and somebody's trying to figure it out. And they keep on asking the other person what's going on. And the other person is telling them, oh, there's nothing going on. Um, here you are observing. And because you think there's some kind of dishonesty going on with the King of Swords. In reverse, you really can't kind of tell oh, what is going on. Hmm. Somebody's getting very wise, very educated about this. Here's the Hierophant and the Upright. That can also be the other person kind of saying, you know, what are you talking about? We're committed. I'm committed to you. There's nothing going on. You know, stop looking into things. Stop kind of thinking these things. But it tells me that I think there's something going on because we have the Seven of Swords here in the Upright, which is usually someone being, um, somebody getting away with something. Um, they're really good at hiding it. Uh, it could be cheating, sneaking behind somebody's back, some sort of betrayal. And they, and they don't get caught doing it. Um, so I feel that somebody does suspect something. So maybe, you know, this is warranted. Now, I will say another message that I just got is perhaps this person's behaving this way because they're trying to throw the scent off of them. Um, you know, so maybe they might be up to something. They're seeing somebody. And when you kind of broach the subject, they just, you know, throw up their heels, redirect, you know, try to alarm you so that you kind of step back on your heels a little bit. Um, when in fact that is sort of happening here. Um, okay, well, 
that's what I have for you guys. Um, that was a little bit dark. So if this resonates with you, consider a personal reading. Click on the link below for what your love interest is thinking or feeling, whether it's a crush, a current ex, or soon to be ex. Check out my 2020 Sun Moon readings. My 2019s are also in there. They're all in the playlist. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook and Insta. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, adios from Veronica Garza.